Thanks a lot, Tony and Larry, Scott Hudson and Mike today here in the Worldwide Arena. A couple of youngsters from the power plant going to tie up. You know, we take Worldwide as a showcase for up-and-coming athletes. And we're going to show off two prize graduates of the power plant, Chuck Palumbo, making his way to the ring right now. What an opportunity it is for Chuck Palumbo as well as his opponent. Johnny the Bull Hugger, as they go one-on-one -on -one here on Worldwide, a chance for them to make a name for themselves in the world of professional wrestling. You know that they have to have the butterflies in this kind of a matchup. The intensity level for these two young men, recent graduates from WCW's Atlanta-based power plant, and the winner of this matchup, one would think, is going to go a long way, at least towards proving his superiority over his fellow power plant grad. Now, I know that you're the professor, and I forevermore proud of your expertise about this sport as far as background goes. But how do you know this guy likes to hug bulls? I don't know, that's his nickname. His name is John Hugger, and his nickname is the Bull. Well, there's a Johnny the Bull Hugger. I thought it was like an honorary title. No? No. Could be not worse. Hardly. Yes, it could be worse. Well, that's Chuck Palumbo in the ring, and uh, Johnny not hugging many oh. bulls at ringside. I'm telling you, these are two stud-looking athletes. Big Chuck Palumbo, six foot six inches tall, 275 pounds, 28 years of age, originally from Providence, Rhode Island, and Palumbo at six foot six has an athletic background. He's a basketball player at Central Missouri State. His opponent, John Hugger, who now bulls, appropriately enough, Palumbo into the corner, is 6'2", 250, just 22 years of age, originally from Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm telling you what, a feeling out process happening right here. They're just brutal. Oh, look at that. Spinning heel kick. Missed. Duck the clothesline. Oh. Single leg sweep. Elbow drop. Did not connect. Palumbo out of the way. Hugger up. Arm drag takedown by Palumbo. He got surprised by the quickness of these two big individuals. Nice deep arm drag by Palumbo. Into the arm bar. Hugger very near the ropes. Referee Mark Johnson looking closely, but Hugger... I think he's close enough to break the hole, but he's just going to fight his way out of it. That's the mark of the power plant graduate. Don't take the easy way out. Fight your way out of the maneuver. Oh, oh man. That was that shoulder still attacked. Well, just think of what you have to do to make it from the power plant to this level of professional wrestling, where you get your first shot on national television. You certainly have to prove yourself to uh, all the teachers at the power plant, including the Sarge, as well as Paul Orndorff. And I know from first-hand experience, well, what did you last at the power plant, about an hour and a half? Oh, uh, exactly 15 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes, so you didn't even make it to the first coffee break. Well, that's when I left, but it was an unscheduled coffee break. It was a one-man coffee break, actually. Oh, look at that, Hugger. Dumps Palumbo over the top rope, all the way to the floor, and Palumbo hit his back on that apron on the way down. Just the proving ground that you have to go through in terms of uh, athletic ability and agility until you can even work on professional wrestling. What is it, months before you can even really work on your wrestling skills? I know these men have both been at the power plant for over a year. I tell you what, you want to know what it's like in the power plant? Here's what happened. First morning in... 900 standing squats, 300 each, three sets of 300, do it, you think you can handle the power plant, if you can do that, you may have a shot, I'm worn out just hearing you talk about it, believe me, here's Chenlock from John the Bull Hugger on Chuck Palumbo, referee checking, that does look a little low, looks like he's got him across the throat rather than under the chin, but Palumbo fights up, back elbow. Palumbo at 6'6", using his height to his advantage. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, boy! It's a running body block. Hook out, Hugger. Palumbo just used his strength. He just out-muscled John Hugger to the mat. I mean, Palumbo at 276, coming full throttle, just leveled Hugger. Referee putting the count to both men. Now Hugger back to his feet. Gets a running full start. Leap for, look at the agility oh. of Hugger. Whoa, the body splash did not connect. Palumbo saw it coming. I mean, he went from the canvas to the top rope in one maneuver. Absolute phenomenal agility for a cruiserweight, let alone someone 6'2", 250. Now Palumbo fighting up right hands. Oh, look at that. Winding up and leveling Hugger. 
of these power play graduates doing that facility a world of good right now. That's what happens when you go to the power play. You get this type of ability. Palumbo into the rope. Big face jam on John the Bull Hugger. Very impressive outing for both of these individuals. But Palumbo has the momentum on his side. Boom! Back heel kick in the back of the head. No left. Hooks the near leg. Very close to the rope. But Hugger is out. And that will do it. Impressive victory for Chuck Palumbo. And that finishing move, that's the bot kick from Chuck Palumbo, is what he calls a jungle kick as we take another look. It's our 1-800-COLLECT replay. 1-800-COLLECT. The easy way to save. Take it, Mike. And there it is. That's the move that puts Chuck Palumbo in the winner's circle. The jungle kick delivered with authority to the back of the head, and the three count is academic. More exclusive worldwide action psychosis without the mask. Delta Cop on Worldwide.